What's up? Uh oh. Am I here? I think I'm here. Well, if I'm not here, I'm somewhere. Hey, Chris. Hey, Christopher. Jeff, what's up, man? Thought I saw a hoser in there. Tribble. Here comes a few of them. Oh, yeah, you heard all that noise. I was uh, moving some stuff around. What's up, Isaiah? The Z-Man. The guy that gets me drunk with his videos. Dude, I'm going to buy y'all a tripod. And I'm going to send it to you. So I'm going to need your address pretty soon. You're going to have to email it to me. What's up, Trey? Hey, uh, Trey, I meant to tell you, man. I'm going to be in Atlanta. 25th, 26th, 27th. Going down there on the 25th and spending the night. Uh, the 26th and 27th is the... Uh, what is it? Uh, it is... Uh, oh, yeah, the Mitsubishi duckless training i gotta go do that so i can get whatever it is you got to get to be whatever it is you got to be you know so i don't know if you're around trey or where you're at i forgot where uh forgot where you're at what's up toyota so i forgot exactly where you're at the class is in suwanee and i'm staying uh up in uh, kind of the outskirts, I'm staying at, I uh, love <laughs> up there, Steve Laugh. What's up, Steve? Man, where's Miss Molly? You got Miss Molly in here? Everybody's got to say hello to Miss Molly. Of course, I guess I'm the only one she can hear. But, so what we're going to do, there's 46 here. So maybe a few more will come on in while I get the ping pong balls on the board here what we're going to do is uh we're going to go ahead and start the office is not quite ready um in the uh in the new building however i got a couple quick shots i can show you of it here because uh they did get the carpet in so there it is looking pretty good but it is dead empty. And what the heck, I had a bunch more pictures than that. Well, anyway, the carpet is in. So I will be very quickly getting moved in there. Well, you can see that deep, rich green there, buddy. So that's going to be the showroom there, and that's going to be my little back workroom area. So we are getting there, but we were supposed to already be there. So we're a little behind schedule, which also puts us behind schedule on these giveaways. So I've got a few sets of these Milwaukee. There's five of each tool. So the first tool we're going to do, as you can probably already see, is uh yeah very funny wet boy it ain't green no more man i put all the money in that new building down there in those three new buildings but so the first thing we're going to give away tonight whoa i went to pick that up so there's the bag i did so that's an empty box i'll ship that to joe shearer i don't know if he's going to show up hopefully he comes in here so I do love green, yes, and plus, think about it. Look back there. See those train units? What color are those train units? All of them. Basically some kind of green or another. So tonight it's going to be the lightweight, quick, easy to use little 12-volt hacksaw thing. These are great for running 90% flue pipes. Um, these are really, really good for that, and they're... I've, I've got both. I've got this one and I've got the 18 volt version and it's a little more bulky, but these are great. If you've already got Sawzall, that's great. But then when you got this, you know, you 
smaller, take it around under the house, run out your two inch and three inch PVC flue pipes with them. And this little thing will be a good friend. Now in the bag, it does have all of the above. It does have a couple of blades, but I use the longer blades in them. It does have a battery, it does have a charger. You can see you got the charger in there. You can see how handy that little thing is in your hand right there. So that's really good for a few things. I mainly use it for flue pipes and quick packs and stuff. Quick zips on stuff. These are brand new. They have not been in the field. In fact, that one is the only one that's been out of the box. And I just got it out of the box so that we could see that nice little bag it comes in and that it comes with everything and it's ready to go. We got 66 in here. Man, I tell you what, I've lost some ground on these giveaways. Everybody must have thought I quit or something. Hack, what's up, Hack? Man, dude, I've been watching your videos. They're totally cool. You're tougher than I am, man. That one video you got of that dad gum whatever temperature is on that rooftop man i would have left that thing you couldn't have paid me to be up there hack is a tough guy he's one of them tough yankees tough as he can be so i hope you guys noticed steve lav's in here the godfather of the youtube videos of our whole community is in here with us Hopefully, he's got Miss Molly with him. She's probably right there in his hand, on his arm, right on his chest, or maybe even up on his desk. So, let's hurry up and get this thing going. So, well, I'm out of practice. Anyway, I used to be able to do this faster. So anyway, as I was saying, this is going to be the first of three Milwaukee giveaways. So I was able to get John Stone to step to the plate. Now, Steve, if I did a cheeseburger giveaway, you know who'd jump in here and eat them all before I could ever get them given away. I was saying I did get John Stone to step to the plate so we got 15 tools three sets of five so the little hacksaws are going to be the first ones so they stepped up and they helped me and split this bill up with me and we're able to pass it to you guys oh look the glare's got AK's Got to be able to see the little picture of AK there. That's better. Five uh, fifties is one thing we do give away, Isaiah. I haven't done any five fifty sevens yet. Uh, I'm not saying that I won't. I just have not done any of those yet. But we have done quite a few five fifties. And. Uh, I think we even got one or two in the unclaimed area that, uh, you know, for whatever reason, disqualified area something. So we will be doing 550s again soon. Um, we 
we've done the hoseless, wireless, whatever you want to call those, test those, the probes, we've done those. So I'm not sure exactly when and what we're going to do. I just do know that um, the next three in a row we got to cycle out these Milwaukee tools here and get them going. Get them out there in you guys' hands and get you using them. And hopefully everybody will remember that Milwaukee tools are awesome. And they will hopefully also remember to shop at Johnstone to try to support them because they support us. Johnstone has helped so far more than anybody on the giveaways. So next to me, Johnstone is the biggest contributor to these giveaways for you guys. So if you get the opportunity, even if you just buy a thermostat or a couple of little relays or something or a whole duck job, whatever. You get the opportunity, try to remember to give John Stone a little return love for helping us with these giveaways. Because, uh, you know, while I've gotten a couple of little, you know, little bitty hands of, of help with some others, John Stone really stepped up and pretty much split this one up with me for, for 15 tools. So that's going to be three giveaways, three sets of five. We've already got them all here. Here's the first set. So hopefully we'll be in the new office by the time we do the next one. But I just got tired of waiting. And normally I'm with the family on Saturday nights, but tonight they went to some stupid concert thing over in Spartanburg, some gay I didn't want to go to. Oh, uh, Tim Hawkins. They went to see Tim Hawkins tonight. And I did not want to go to that. Um, if I want to see somebody funny, you know, I got plenty of friends on YouTube here. If I want to see somebody funny, this is what you guys need to do. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, pull up Steve Lav's channel and just type the word comedy in, or type in Barbie. Um, watch his video on dating Barbie. Uh, dating in, you know, watch watch a couple of his videos that are comedy funny type in the word funny or comedy or barbie and uh you'll you'll get them maybe maybe he'll post us a link in the chat here if he's not busy he's probably busy over there petting his little girl miss molly but yeah that's comedy for you right there now the tim hawkins dude i know a lot of people think he's funny whatever his little parodies little blah blah you know they uh they they like him i just it's not for me you know so, I got loose from the family tonight and decided, you know, it's not my normal night. Normally I do this on Friday night. But I got a night off. So, Milwaukee giveaway time tonight. So, John Stone and Milwaukee have gotten together and helped me come up with some stuff to give to you. So, well, I sure hope I didn't pack up the list. Where the hell is the list? Oh, no. Is this them? B, C, D, E, A. Hopefully these are the right lists. I printed some wrong one time and that was a mess. All right, so how many we got here? 88. Wonder if that's enough. So anyway, as always, true to form, we're going to show that we have all the balls there. Everybody can see that. That's 1 through 50. 
I hear you, Joe. Not enough. Needs to be a hundred here. That's what we usually shoot for. There is one through 50 there, so everybody can see that their number is actually on the board, which means it will actually be in the tumbler. So I'm going to load these into the tumbler. Hopefully a few more come in here while we're loading them. Uh, there's 90, so we're getting there. We're doing pretty good. So... So, where are the lists? All right, everybody pretty much knows what list they're on. What's up, Justin? Uh, we got 91 in here. Man, that stinks. But it's my own fault for laying out on you guys for so long. I'm sorry about that. Just really, really been busy. Oh, Lord, now we're dropping. There's only 89. Now we're back to 90. Um, yeah, Joe Shearer really needs to get in here. Hey, uh, Justin, uh, J.H. Justin, can you send Joe Shearer a text? Do you text him? Can't remember. Wait a minute, his son's in here. Wet Boy's in here, ain't he? Where's Wet Boy? John HVAC, did you leave? Are you here? Where you at, Wet Boy? Joe Shearer has a good story to tell about uh, the prizes I sent to him. I don't know if he's going to tell it or not tonight. I don't know if he's coming in here tonight. Nope, you don't text Joe. Sorry. Yeah, I know. He uh, he does sort of. Oh, hey, Craven. Uh, yeah. The guy that we call Wet Boy is John HVAC, J-O-N HVAC. We call him Wet Boy because he's always talking about something crazy like that. What's up? There's John Israel in the house. All right, we got 97. We're about um, 96. Somebody dropped out. So we're about to hit 100. Shannon, I wear my sunglasses at night. What's up, buddy? All right, so let's look at the A-list here. And I don't know if we've got enough here tonight that all the winners are going to be present, but we've had like four out of five twice in a row that were present here. And uh, so here's the A-list. Pretty much everybody knows what their number is, what list they're on, and all that stuff. But... There's 98. I mean, we usually try to hit 100, but 98 is pretty close. 99. I guess everybody sees it. Pow, there it is. There's 100. So we got 100 guys in here. Let's start the giveaway. Let's go. This is going to be on the A list right here. So. Let's do those reading. All right, for the Milwaukee Hacksaw, 12 volt, very handy, small. You can hold it in your hand, throw it in your tool pouch, throw it in your tray. For those of you that are old school, still drag a tray under the house. Very, very handy for flue pipe, two inch, three inch PVC, stick a regular Sawzall blade in it. Nice little tool, I got five of these. So, Joe Shearer is not here. So we need a lucky number. Somebody else is going to have to pick it because Shearer's gone. So how many times you think we ought to spend? 15 is a logical number. That's the first number I saw was 15. 
So I'm going to spend it 15. John, look, dude, 55. Look at him. Listen, wet boy, did you text your dad like I asked you to? I'm sorry, your son. Did you text your son like I asked you to, wet boy? Where are you at? He's probably not even listening to me. He's over there working on his truck, preparing for his next live show. John HVAC, where are you? You're slow. Type and answer. Reply me fast. Did you text? Okay, please do, John. Wet boy, I appreciate it. We need to see Joe Shearer in here tonight for a couple of reasons. I want to know if he got the package. I had a custom-made blow-up doll of, uh, well, anyway, never mind. I'll let him tell you. So I sent him a nice package. All right. We said 15. Let's do 15 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the A-list winner tonight is number 14. There it is. Number 14 wins on the A-list tonight. Let's find out who that is. Whoever that is already knows who they is. But let's show you who it is. 14 is Oscar Diaz or Diaz. Oscar Diaz, Oscar Diaz. Does anybody know him? I do not. I have seen the name around in the chats. Don't know if he's here. But he has 24 hours to send me a text or an email preferably an email, because I know he has it. What's up, Joe Shearer? There he is. Joe, did you get your package yet? That's what everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know, did you receive your package yet, Joe? Joe, where you at, Joe? Oh, my gosh, you didn't? Man, where do you live? Egypt? BFE? All right. So let's move on to the B list. Let's see who's on this B list. Everybody that's on the B list knows you're on the B list. It takes a while, got wire. Hang around, pay attention, watch the videos. You will learn how, you will get on there, and eventually you could win. It is a club, as you see at the top. Giveaway club. Permanent number. You're automatically entered. Corey, you're on the B list, dude. You already won one. Aren't we holding something for you? Um, yeah, that would be. <laughs> Joe. I don't know, man. I don't think it has my name on it anywhere, so I could deny the whole thing. Yeah, Joe, I tell you what, opening that live would actually be awesome. It really would. That would let everybody know how much I think of my good friend Joe. So I'm gonna put 14 back in. Now, since you're here, Joe, and I did send you a first paycheck, you are a legal advisor. We spun 15 times the first time. We kind of like to progress from there. I'm not going to spend it se uh, uh, 78 times, but what's the next logical number we should spend, Joe? We did 15 times on the A list. So, let's spend it a few more times. Where did you go, Joe? The other Joe says 22. I think uh, Joe Shearer has gotten so excited about the fact that he knows where, uh, that he's got a package coming to him any time now, any minute now. It's been gone for a few days. Joe, my battery's going dead, dude. Pick a number. Don't make me make this a two-part. He did say 22. Okay, let's spend this 22 times. And let's see who the B-list winner is. I have had no dinner tonight, so we got to make this thing happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. 22. All right, 22 spins for the B list, and whoever is number 49 on the B list is the winner of the B list. So let's take a look at it, see who number 49 is. 
because they just won themselves to Milwaukee. Chris Randall. Does anybody know Chris Randall? I do not. Not 100% positive that I've seen him. But number 49, Chris Randall is the winner. And that means he has 24 hours to email me first and last name, phone number, full shipping address. And yes, FedEx wants a phone number now. Chris Randall, you got 24 hours. Don't make me put that prize back in the unclaimed prize bin. All right. So let's move on to the C list. Before the battery dies. This is the C-list. I'm pretty sure the people on the C-list know they're on the C-list, but I always just want this key to be handy on the giveaway videos. So, Joe Shearer, where did you go? We spun 22 times last time. How many times are we spinning this time? Oh. Funny Style Gomez, I don't see you on there. You must have used your regular name. Joe Shearer, where are you? 35. Oh, boy. Yeah, I can see when you yell. When you type in caps and yell at me, I can see that. Now, don't yell over there at John, your dad, because that's disrespectful. All right, we're going to spin it 35 times. We're going to put number 49 back in. We're going to spend it 35 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, thirty. 35. Now, Joe, that was a high number, man. That's working me pretty hard here. All right. Let's see on the C list. Who is number 32? On the C list, number 32 is the winner. So let's whip this up here and see who won that Milwaukee Hacksaw tool. Number 32 is Zach McPherson. Another name that I just don't recognize right off. So who is Zach McPherson? That is the winner. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> okay. Number 32 on the C list. Zach McPherson has 24 hours from right now to email me full first and last name shipping address and telephone number then you will get your milwaukee hacksaw prize let's move on to the d list all right the d list everybody that's on the d list pretty much knows they're on there by now like i said i just like to show it one time hernandez what's up man where have you been all right, the troublemaker is in the house. Hernandez is here. Everybody loves Hernandez. Everybody's been begging me to ban him. No, wait, he's been begging me to ban him, and everybody else is banning me not to. He needs to be banned from somewhere, just not here. All right, Joe Shearer, how many times are we spending for the D list? 35 was a lot, dude. I mean, that was a bunch. Where is Joe? Joe is slow. And he won't give us our number. Joe. Where are you at, Joe? Joe. Joe is old and slow. Said something about Rosie is right hand or something. His girlfriend, Rosie. Rosie is right hand. Where you at, Joe? He's practicing up for the prize I sent him. 
All right, Joe. Yes, I'm old and blind. And look, I'm looking on the phone. I'm not behind here all the time where the screen is, Joe. 26, I can't spend a half. Tell you what, when that live box opening reveal happens, Big Joe is going to see who is what and who the hero is. 26 times. I'm sorry we have no half time. jacked up. The D-list winner is number 44. 44. So let's see who number 44 is. And don't tell us how much yet, Joe, because I can't see the screen. Paul Ricardo. Boy, these are all new people that have not won before. That's a good sign. Paul Ricardo. You can thank Joe Shearer for selecting the amount of spins that fell upon your number, 44, Paul Ricardo. You have <laughs> messed up, Justin. Justin said that messed up. Why are you on this list, Justin? Uh, let's see if JH is on here. I don't know if he's on this one or not. He's in here somewhere. All right, number 44, Paul Ricardo. You have 24 hours. I need your first and last name. Full shipping address and a telephone number. FedEx does want a telephone number. All right. Now, time for the E-list. Last one of the night. I'm about to starve. It's dinner time. Pick a number, Joe. And don't say 240 because I'm not going to do it. I have to switch to my left hand. No, Joe. I'm not doing it 95 times. Joe, man, I'm the one that sent you those nice prizes, man, and you're already torturing me. How do you know that it's really a gag gift? How do you know there's not something really, really nice from the heart in that box I sent you, Joe? That does sound kind of like maybe something I wouldn't do, but, I, I, you know, let's wait for the live opening. I sent quite a few things, Joe. More than one prize. Let's put it that way. I don't want to lie to you. I sent more than one prize. Pick a number. A feasible, realistic number. 59. Man, you suck, Joe. All right. 59. Here we go. And I ain't doing that crap ever again. Good Lord. Joe ain't right. Whoever wins can thank Joe for the 59 spins. One, two, three, four, five, six. on the e-list brings up number 47 so let's see who number 47 is on the e-list number 47 is lee pitts lee pitts is number 47 these are some of the ones who did not send their eBay name or their uh, their actual name? So 
number 47, Lee Pitts. You have 24 hours to email me your first and last name, which is probably what we have, full shipping address and telephone number, 24 hours. So, along with these prizes this time, we're gonna send everybody one of these. These are the new Cowboys of HVAC hats. And I got 114 of these the other day. And these were the ones that were ready first for whatever reason. The camouflage ones were back ordered. Um, they're kind of a dark camouflage. They're actually really pretty cool. But, um, Joe, shut up. You haven't won anything yet. This is not a rag. I didn't say I was sending shirts. These are hats, okay? So everybody that won tonight is going to get a hat in their box with the Milwaukee hacksaw. So, keep that in mind. Now, on the subject of the Cowboys, we are only one to two weeks out from the pilot being released. I have seen the majority of it and it's not so bad. The pilot will be out in just a couple of weeks, maybe less. I'm pushing them real hard. I am really, really pushing the editing department at the publisher really hard to get this thing out so everybody can see what happens out on our job and <laughs> Second term of HVAC, please put me on the list. There's a little more to it than that. Some of the other guys will tell you, or you can go digging back through my older videos a few months back, and you can find the entry videos with instructions of how to enter and how to be in the club. There's a little bit more to it than just saying, please put me on. Um, you do have to prove to me that you are in the HVAC industry. So if you don't have a license and you can't show me your license, you can show me two pay paycheck stubs. Uh, there's, there's a couple of ways to get in. Oh, Joe, man, I can see right now that your dad has ruined your brain, what was left of it. So anyway, some of the other guys will tell you how to get entered or you can go back and just think, if you go back and watch some of my videos, that supports me, that helps me. Then I do more giveaways, and then you can get on the list easier to be sure that list stays alive. So go back and find the entry, giveaway club entry videos. That's what you got to go back and find. So I don't know that anybody else is doing anything tonight. Otherwise, I would say let's all get on over to Zach's channel or get on over to somebody's channel. But I wish somebody would do a hangout tonight. I would... Uh, encourage all of us to get over there and watch it and i would get on there and have fun help out paula's does does some that mike paula's guy and every now and then israel will do one um i i was able to uh i was able to watch some of his the other night and uh that was uh that was some fun there's a few that gets on there and uh oh is he having one did he say that joe it's too bad you don't have your box, Joe. You could open it up. Uh, I think John would get a kick out of uh, those wonderful prizes that I have sent you. And they're not all gag gifts either. There's actually some good prizes there. So uh, did he, but, but anyway, Joe, did he say he was actually going to do one? Maybe that's where he went. Maybe he's getting ready, getting set up. I noticed he had a big new curtain on the last one. It looked pretty cool. Joe, you're really slow to answer, or either you are ignoring me, one. You got me on Iggy. Somebody tell Joe to unclick my name and take me off ignore. Uh, no, Joe, the other Joe got, uh, well, I'm not going to tell him what he got because I want him to see. Clint, hey, buddy, I appreciate you being here. Trey, uh, a good book. <laughs> So anyway, Trey, you did hear my message earlier about uh, I'm going to be in Atlanta. Um, okay, Joe, I'll do it.
Trey Manning, did you hear me? No, not tonight. The 25th? I'm coming down there on the 25th. I'm attending a class on the 26th and 27th. So uh, I'm going to be there the 25th at night and the 26th at night. During the 26th and 7th, I'll be in the Mitsubishi training class. Um, so anyway, I'll send you a text and tell you where I'm going. It, it, the class is in uh, uh, Suwannee, so I don't know how far from Suwannee you are. Yeah, I really need that, Joe, because we know how terrible I am at all that. Can't even spell or pronounce people's name. Pretty bad. Joe likes to pick on me about my eighth grade education. I don't know why that is. I think it maybe boosts him up a little bit to maybe knock me down a little. I think that's what it is. I think that's what Joe enjoys. He's jealous of my train units. He can't get any train units in his showroom. Um, oh, I hear you, Trey. So you might be on call working day and night, huh? Well, that's what this trade is all about. <laughs> I hear you, Trey. Well, maybe we'll get to, uh, you know... Uh, grab a burger or something one of those nights or maybe you get to stop by we can visit or something for a bit shake your hand if nothing else but uh, I think Ralph is going to come around uh, trying to round up a few of them but most of them are uh, you know like you on the job but uh, Ralph is uh, actually part of the Mitsubishi training stuff so I think maybe he can he can make a way to get in there um, John, you, you got no room to talk. All you want to do is make people wet, wet boy. Don't go to John HVAC's house. He'll take the hose pipe to you. All right, so did somebody actually see, uh, you know, Israel actually said he was going to have one tonight? That'll give us all something to do is go in there and chew the fat, stir up some drama, start a big fight, and start laughing and leave. Actually, if I did that, he'd probably kick me out again. So I had my fun doing all that. I'm going to be nice now. But those were the days. I mean, me and John used to kind of go at it a little bit. And I'll tell you what, I, I don't know about him. To me, looking back, that was fun, man. Those were good memories. I don't, I'm not saying I want to do it again. Uh, I really don't want to, you know, that was kind of in the drama category. But 